So I'm excited. Let's get into it. Oh my god. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, The Vintage Man. We are back with another video and yet another early look, guys. Today, we will be unboxing the Air Jordan 6. Carmine's 2021 release, you feel me? We got the 2014 pair. Uh, it's the only pair I had, I got like three pairs of those. Got a beat up pair. I got one that's very near DS. And um, now we're getting to the 2021 version. I cannot wait to bust these things open. But before we get too far into the video, if anybody's new to the channel, you wanna see more early looks, more on feats and stuff like that, more unboxings, uh, me adding grills to the collection, make sure you subscribe right now. We're trying to get to that 50K, man. The end goal is 100. K, we're trying to get there as soon as we can. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content, or you about to enjoy the content, I'm pretty sure you about to check out some early heat. Hit that like button right now and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these Air Jordan 6 Carmines, the 2021 release. And I think the release February 13th. We're gonna talk about all that in the video. So with all that out the way, man. Let's jump right into this unboxing over these Carmines, man. Let's get it. Yo, real quick before we unbox these things, man, shouts out to Drama the Manager. That's where I get most of my early pairs from. So make sure you go follow him down below on Instagram, Drama the Manager. I think it's an underscore at the end. I will link it in the description box. So if you want to get you some early pairs, he does pre orders. He has a bunch of shoes in stock as well. So if you want to hit him up, get you some legit pair of sneakers, hit him, my boy, man. So let's get right into this package. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see it. I was gonna wait to get them for retail on a release date, but I was like, man, I cannot wait any longer. I seen too many people get their pair and I did not have my pair yet. If anybody knows, or if you don't know, this is my favorite sneaker of all time. Real quick story, I wanna let everybody know. I was graduating from high school was back in 2014, and I kinda collected all the money I got from the family and stuff like that. And I was like short, like 15, I think it was like 20 bucks. Uh, so my homie was there. He was military affiliated. I was able to use my military discount. An employer was not supposed to do that. And he let me get them things. Like, I think I got it for like $140. That's all the money I had I spent on a pair of sneakers the day I graduated. So uh, this is my favorite pair. Uh, we about to get right into it. I'm excited. You guys don't even understand. Let's get into it. DS clean, crispy pair. Let's get into it, man. Let's read the official side tag. Air Jordan 6 Retro, white, carmine, and black. Size now, you guys already know how we rock with our Air Jordan 6s or pretty much any silhouette, I rock with a size nine. Sometimes I go to a size eight and a half, uh, but yeah, man. And we're gonna pull out the other pair real quick, do a quick comparison. I kind of want to save that for a later video for you guys to get a real in-depth look that what's the difference between the 2014 and the 2021 pair. I'm talking too much, I'm excited. Let's get into it. Oh my God, oh yes sir, yes sir. We have, and, and it's crazy because the expression and the feeling is the same as I still have the 2014 pair right behind me. And um, yes, we have them, 2021 Nike Air on the back. It's kind of bright, but I gotta hit you guys with some B-roll. These things are beautiful, oh, man. Oh my God. We finally have them early. We're gonna do a full review and on feed and all that good stuff. And I'm um, hearing that this pair might get shock drop next week or i think it was like february 3rd or february or like a week before the release i'm not too sure uh we're gonna talk about that real quick let's get both sneakers out real quick man and oh my god i'm excited i'm excited as i was back in 2014 and when i got my second pair of carmines uh but these things are beautiful i want you guys to get a really good look at these joints right here that nike air uh the difference between the 2014 and the 2021 pair you see it right there check it out check it out and uh, somebody said that the red looks brighter or something like that. They look literally damn near identical. And this is a pair that I've worn. Um, of course, the one I've worn kind of, you know, or which one? Yeah, there it is. So kind of dirty at the bottom. The 2021 pair is more blue, I guess, more translucent because I wore these plenty of times. Uh, but you guys can see the differences between, you know, the worn pair, the 2014 pair, the DS pair and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get these 2014s out the way. And kind of talk about these joints real quick. So every single huge release, I guess you could say, it should be a general release. 
meaning a lot of people are going to expect a shock drop from Nike and Jordan brand. Uh, we got it with the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds, the Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds. We even got it with the Air Jordan 13 Flints, and I believe it was another sneaker, maybe the DMP6, I'm not too sure. But those big releases uh, for sneakers that, you know, released a long time ago, people have been waiting for them to come back. Uh, they usually give us a shock drop, like a month before the release. These Carmines, totally different story. Uh, they pushed a couple of releases uh, past this release. They pushed back the Air Jordan 3 Cool Grays, and I do believe they pushed back the Air Jordan 4 Top Haze. So I was thinking that maybe they pushing all out the way to kind of build some hype, kind of build some anticipation, and do like a shock drop, exclusive access drop, or something for these Air Jordan 6 Carmines. And we still waiting, you know what I'm saying? It's going day by day. We still have not gotten a notification from J23 or Soul Links. So real quick, if you guys do not know what J23 app is or Soul Links, let me slow it down real quick for you guys. You need to get both of those apps. Follow them on Twitter, follow them on Instagram, and make sure you download the apps. I will link it down below. Let you know about all future restocks, all shock drops that happen. And sometimes it's like a hit or miss. Sometimes J23 app is first. Sometimes Soul Links is first, but they really do help a lot of us out as far as shock drops. Uh, my first time, ever heard about shock drop was the air jordan one unc off-whites and j23 i've sent it out and i didn't know what i didn't know really what it was i never seen a shock drop before never seen it happen so a lot of people i feel like were caught by surprise but now like the past two three years people expect shock drops around big releases like this so like i said we're a couple of weeks out from the release february 13th they did not push that date back they did push back a bunch of other sneakers and uh, we still haven't got nothing. We haven't got no J23 Live talking about the Carmine Sixes, talking about their history and stuff like that. This shoe is game worn, you know what I'm saying, with the Nike Air in the back. So I was like, yo, they gonna do something. But they ain't really been talking about the Carmines. Like, we don't have any official images on the Nike Sneakers app. Uh, I think we have the official images for the Cool Gray 3s. I'm not too sure. Here they go right here. A beautiful, beautiful sneaker. These two right here are like top two most anticipated sneakers of 2021. I think that was before they confirmed the Cool Gray 11s. Because I'm kind of excited for those as well. Never had them in a the collection. So it's going to be very dope to add to the collection. You feel me? But these two right here. Hey, I'm, I'm super excited about them. With me already having the 2014 pair, I think I was a little bit more happy to add these into the collection, I must say that. Uh, first time I ever having the Cool Grays, had the Carmines plenty of times, had them like three times. Uh, one of the pairs, I don't even, I think I sold that pair, so now I'm left with two pairs. And now we have the 2021 pair of Air Jordan 6 Carmine. It's a beautiful sneaker, I'm telling you guys. So they gotta do a shock drop. They gotta do something around this release. And I feel like it's just destined to happen with the pushbacks of all these other releases and them kinda, you know, keeping under the radar as far as this release right here. Dropping All-Star Weekend. They might do something during the game. They might do something the week of, the weekend of. Something I don't know what Jordan Brand is gonna do, uh, but we haven't got any shock drops this year, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comment section, but I don't think it was no shock drops. It was no exclusive access drops so far as far as big releases in 2021. I appreciate everybody for pulling up in today's video. You guys got a first look at the Air Jordan 6 Carmine in 2021. You see the Nike Air on the back. Very beautiful sneaker. Make sure you spam them likes up, spam the comments up to let me know how excited you are for the release over these beauties right here, man. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss the full review on feet. It's gonna be dropping very, very soon. Do a comparison video or something like that. Just so you guys can see these beauties right here on feet and get some more B-roll shots so you guys can see what's about to drop on February 13th. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys for pulling up to today's video. And with all that being said, I'm gonna catch the Vintage Squad in the next video, man. Peace.